Dr. Marcus Schwab is here with me now, the Henry N. Wagner Lectureship Speaker. Traveled all the way from Germany to be here, and we appreciate that so greatly. Your talk is entitled, From Molecular Imaging to Deep Theranostics. Give us a little preview of that and explain. Yeah, I choose this title in order to emphasize the change we need in the world of medical imaging. I mean, there are so many new advances that we are actually have to attempt to meet all the challenges the modern medicine actually uh, offers for a field like nuclear medicine. And we're especially interested to push forward the transformation from just imaging towards therapeutic intervention. And I think the a radioactivity allows not only very sensitive detection of signals, but it also allows to destroy cancer tissue. So I think combining uh, the detection of cancer and the destruction of tumor cells is one of the really new combinations which will, it's my firm belief, uh, affect the treatment of patients with various uh, kinds of cancer. It seems so promising, but it sounds like your talk is really a call to action for people to embrace this and study it more, learn more, and bring it out to their patients. What do you hope people walk away from this conference knowing and doing? See that each medical field has to change and to adapt on, I think, uh, take advantage of challenges and convert them into new technologies, which then improves the patient care, which is all our utmost important goal we have in our fields. From theory to practice, where do you see this going in the future? Yeah, I think it's primarily cancer uh, treatment and there are so many new therapeutic approaches. If you think about immune therapy, which is now very much applied to various uh, kinds of cancer. So I believe that the combination of various bullets will actually help us to control cancer and hopefully one day cure cancer. Are there specific cancers that you think it might be more efficacious for? Yeah, the most uh, uh, experience we have currently is uh, in uh, patients with prostate cancer mm -hmm. because prostate cancer is a very prevalent cancer and uh, we have with PSA a very good biomarker for early detection of this cancer. So taking this in vitro test PSA and combining it with an imaging signal offers us to individualize patient care, which is a very important aspect of this so-called precision medicine. And on top of it, uh, since the target we are imaging is highly expressed, primarily in cancer cells. We can use this target also to guide therapeutic intervention. Isn't telling surgeons which part of the prostate they have to remove or which lymph node which is affected. Uh, and finally using uh, various uh, therapeutic radioisotopes, we can actually try to use this protein expression to actually kill cancer cells. When you talk about surgical removal, do you see this therapeutic approach being able to help doctors treat tumors in areas that they really cannot reach surgically? Yeah, I mean, traditionally surgery are the fingers of the surgeon as well, the eye of the surgeons. I believe in the future it will be robotic surgery and we will have sensors, small sensors in the body. And we need biological contrast or we need signals to guide this uh, robotic interventions. And I believe molecular imaging will be an important part of this evolving technology of minimal invasive surgery. So there are the first attempts now to combine ultrasound PET imaging in order to optimize the biopsy results. On the other hand, to help surgeons to find uh, lymph nodes with uh, uh, metastatic disease. An incredible combination that will help save lives. Thank you, Dr.